Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we will talk about how to do the basic setup for the React TypeScript because we are using Create React app and we are familiar with that so that is fine. We can go ahead with the Create React app. What we just need to do is change all .jsx to .tsx and just add this dependency. This is just to add the type definitions for the React, nothing, nothing more than that. And you can use the same project as a React TypeScript whatever you are using for react with javascript okay this is a code sandbox which is talking about the very basic template about react typescript i don't have many things here tsconfig package.json is same nothing different here and here is my type definition i i mean my components which is having dot tsx instead of dot jsx so what what else you will see you will see tsconfig file dot jsx to dot tsx and everything is kind of same okay you will see the dev dependencies with the react typescript definitions react dom typescript definitions and typescript these all other dev dependencies you will see in the same create react app example okay so you can actually modify your simple create react app setup introduce all these dependencies which is very basic and very simple now what we are doing here right here we are creating a same component. What had changed? I think we didn't do anything additional here. We are creating a simple component. But when we start accessing the props, accessing the state, then we have to define the type definitions for each and every property which you are passing from the parent to the child or the state object which you are defining that will also have some kind of a type. Then only we can get the advantage of TypeScript because we have already seen the example of using interface types classes and all right so to take the actual or uh, actual benefit of typescript we should have the type defined for each and every object and each and every property which we are passing like in the component we are passing props right and in the component we are initiating the state so both should have a proper defined type so that whenever i'm accessing props dot state object dot I should be able to access only those properties which are available. Okay, let's say I'm not writing TypeScript and how we were doing these prop validation. I think you have already heard about the prop types in the uh, basic React. So same thing we are going to do. What we will do is first we will import uh, React from React. When you are writing the TypeScript projects, Oh, you can just always use import everything as react from react and what else we need because here we are going to understand the prop types so i will just say const app is my component and we are creating the functional component and this is the props this component is receiving and i am just returning simple add div which is having simple which is just printing a simple message with property which is coming from the props hello and it is doing props.name so if we talk about the existing definitions uh, we were using prop types right and we are importing the prop types we have to import it import a prop types from prop type okay how we were doing it we were saying app dot prop type prop types and we were saying okay this is going to have name as a property and that should satisfy this validation prop type dot string okay that means this prop will have a name as of type string and we were doing export default app everything is fine so what is the problem with this i mean it's not like i'm comparing typescript with the prop type validation which we are doing here okay i need to add the prop types cannot find dependency prop types so let's add it how we can do it I think this is already there okay now it should be correct 
Now, uh, let's say if you make this string property required, or we can do this, we were using is required property, is required. So at the compile time, I will not receive a complaint, okay, if you are not passing this name as a props. You will receive this complaint only if uh, when you are running it. You can see prop type instead of, let's reload this and try to see this, what error message, what warning uh, this React component is giving us. Okay. Let me just scroll this. That is a problem with the browser. Sometimes it's stuck. Okay. Now what we are saying is app dot prop types. App dot prop types we are using. And we are saying that inside props name is something which is required. I mean, you have to pass the name property. Name that is marked as required, but it is undefined, not passed, right? Application still works fine. So these kind of prop type validations are not enough. That's why we have to use React and we have to define the types for the props and state. This prop type validation is fine. Okay, we can use it. We can mark properties required, optional. Now, now if I mark it as an optional, then it will stop throwing the, the warning messages because the name is optional property. I can, I may or may not pass, okay? Now let's convert this into a TypeScript here. We don't want it to use prop types, just hide these prop type validations. So what we always do is when we are defining the props, what we do is we specify the types, okay? So here we are trying to access the name property. Okay, we can just directly destructure it and name is of type, let's say name props. And here we can specify the name props, type name props, and which will have a name as of type string. Right and same name props, we are accessing it here. Now we can just access the name property directly. And that name props, we have to pass the name. Then only it will satisfy the condition. Now we can save both the files. Everything is fine. So this is how you can define the props. Here we are doing the name props similarly any kind of type, any kind of complex types also you can create. Because what, what we will see in the props, the, the properties which we are passing from the parent component, name, uh, username, email, or maybe a function, all these properties will be passing down to the child component, name props. So this is how we introduce the type for the props. Same way we can introduce the type for the state objects. Okay, so this is of name type. Here you can also say, okay, I have a props. Without destructuring, these props are of type name props. So in that case, I have to use props.name, right? Now this type, we are talking about a very simple type, but this type can be as complex as we want. It can, this type can have objects, number, boolean, string, array, functions, and all like this name tag props, it has a lot of things and this props can be of type this. Let's say if we are doing that props is of type this and I will just add the name as a type string. This will work here because now we have added a name but all sort of properties because all the other properties are now required which I am not passing while mounting this. So you can see a whole lot of messages, name string is missing which I have passed, but all these other properties I'm not passing. So either I can make all these as optional, let's say this item, item is optional, this item is optional, another object is optional, and only name is required. 
when I do this, that means now everything is fine because the name is the only thing which is required in the name tag props and from the index I am passing the name. Now if you just make anything else also required then it will trigger issue with this mounting. Now the n object is missing of this type so now you have to create some object with some properties and what the type we are using we have to use pass this an object as a props and I can pass the object here and then it is fine right so this is how we are resolving this we are passing both the required properties and this is how we are setting the required properties required and properties as optional for the props and this is how the prop type validation is also being done because this type can be of a string, boolean, object, uh, array, of, of, uh, array of objects like item, items or the functions also like we are writing the on change event, on submit event in the props. Those can also be there. Something like this on hover, I am receiving as a props property. Currently let's mark them as an optional but these can also be another type in the props, right? So you are receiving the props.name when you do on click. Let's say when you do on click onto this, you, what you are going to do is you are going to call props dot on change, right? Why it is complaining? On click. So on click is the method and it is accessing because on click we put that on the, the div on change so it is going to call the on change and we are not doing any implementation right so the methods can also be assigned in the props and same can be accessed here okay so this is about the prop type validations in the next video let's see more complex examples where we will be defining the types for the state and all